Google Trends has many features and uses that keyword tool has enhanced due to the additional data it provides. Let's quickly walk you through the tool so you can start finding amazing keywords in no time. Go to keywordtool.io forward slash Google Trends and enter your seed keyword, for example, iPhone 14. Make sure to select your desired target location and hit enter. Right away, you'll see a summary of the results provided to you. You can see the total keywords, total search volume of those keywords, along with some average figures. This is the summary of results for the rising tab. This tab includes keywords that are increasing in search volume at an accelerating rate. Whereas the tab next to it that says top includes keywords that are the most searched in a specific time frame. Before we go any further, it's important that you know what all these columns that you're seeing mean. Search frequency increase is how fast or slow a keyword's search volume is increasing or decreasing. As you can see, the interest over time for iPhone 14 was pretty non-existent before it started to rise in August as it got closer and closer to the phone's launch. It peaked during September 4th to September 10th because that's the week that the flagship was officially launched, which means that interest over this time was the highest. Because of such a vast search volume difference within just a few weeks, the search frequency is tremendously high. Next, we have the search volume column that shows you the average number of searches a keyword gets in a month. The higher the volume, the more popular the keyword is as more people search for it on Google. This data is only provided by keyword tool as Google Trends doesn't display this. By looking at the figures rather than the frequency increase, you can get a clear idea of how popular a keyword actually is and how much momentum it's gaining. The trend column shows you the change in the search volume of a keyword over the past 12 months. This way you can get an idea about search intent and can predict the search volume in the future as well. The trends graph will more or less be a mirror image of the graph provided by Google Trends of interest over time as both search volume and interest directly correlate. This also gives you confidence in our data as it matches exactly with the data provided to you directly by Google. The percentage next to the graph will give you a quick overview of whether the keyword is trending or not, that is, is it increasing or decreasing in search volume. The cost per click or CPC column displays the average cost an advertiser is paying on Google Ads to bid for a certain keyword. This will help you realize which keyword will benefit you the most. This is because advertisers will pay high amounts to bid for a keyword, only when they know that it has a good return on investment. Lastly, the competition column tells you how many people are bidding for the keyword. As you scroll down, you will see all the rising keywords returned for your seed keyword. You can also filter your search results to only see keywords that fit your requirements. Just click the settings here and enter your values. You can customize anything from the trend to the words that you see by entering them in the filter or negative keyword section. Once you're satisfied with your keyword list, there are multiple ways to store it. You can add them to the keyword basket, export them in Excel or CSV file, or copy them in any of our three formats and paste them wherever you like. You can do this with the menu at the bottom right of the screen, or you can use the hover buttons right next to the keyword as well. The keyword basket is a feature that lets you store up to 2000 keywords for future use. So if you like a keyword, you can simply add it to the keyword basket. Keyword tool will automatically file it under the respective search engine as each search engine has its unique basket. Make sure you don't forget to check out the other tab labeled top as you may come across some hidden gems there that have high search volumes. In this tab, the metrics provided are the same, the only difference being that search frequency increase has been swapped by relative popularity. Relative popularity indicates the popularity of a keyword as compared to the most popular keyword in a particular time frame. So for example, the most popular keyword has a popularity of 100, and the keyword that is half as popular will have a relative popularity of 50. The rest of the metrics shown to you are the same as before. Now, if you're trying to rank on Google, chances are that you might want to know what keywords your competitors are using in order to get their traffic from, right? Well, Keyword Tool has made it super easy and simple for you. Just copy and paste your competitor's website URL in the Google search engine bar and hit enter. Within seconds you'll have access to keywords that Google associates with the website. 
you can use these keywords to conduct content gap analysis or treat them as content ideas. Did you know that Keyword Tool offers 10 more search engines, all included in the Pro subscription? From social media platforms like Instagram and YouTube to e-commerce giants such as Amazon and eBay, Keyword Tool takes care of your every need. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at hello at keywordtool.io and we'll be more than eager to help. Happy Keyword Researching!